How many of you have ever felt like you were not smart enough to tackle complex problems in technology development? I used to feel that way too, but now I understand technology is a tool to help us to solve problems. And we, as a woman, we are neutral problem solvers. We belong in this technology space. I have always been passionate about data and about technology. This curiosity has led me to my current role as a leader in AI. But my path wasn't always clear. There are three key principles that helped me in this journey. Today, I'm here to share them with you. I hope they will help you on your path to succeed in technology. Principle one, believe in yourself and embracing challenges. Every day, remind yourself, you can do this and tell yourself, I have the ability to learn, to grow, and I'm willing to put time and effort to overcome any challenges. If you are facing a difficult task or situation today, don't worry about how long it will last or when it will last. Focus on the present moment. It will pass and you will overcome it. So what is a challenge? Challenges are the gaps between where we are today and where you want to be. So the way for us to close those gaps is to taking our first step today. Let me share a personal story. Even now, I am still nervous when I'm speaking in public. I have done it many times. Experience kept me from being scared, but the nervousness never fully goes away. I get anxious because you and everyone giving me your time, the most non-renewable resource we have. And public speaking is vulnerable. I'm, share, I'm sharing my thoughts, opening up, and want to build the connections with my audience. I could feel and could be criticized. So to overcome my fear of public speaking, my trick is keep showing up every time. Even when I know that I would like to run away, I remind myself, don't run. Even I mess up, showing up is what matters. Embracing challenges and being determined to tackle complex tasks, difficult tasks, has been crucial to my career development. It is those tough moments when I raise my input in the meeting, taking difficult decisions and solving complex tasks, or facing all the unknowns that helped me to grow, to build my confidence and skills. Remember, constantly embracing challenges builds the strengths and the knowledge that you will need to succeed in the technology domain. So take your first step today. Trust yourself. You are capable more than you think. Principle number two, find your own purpose and own it. Don't let others define your path. Find what makes you feel content and what you want to do. Once when you discover it, pursue it and own it. It will guide you through the difficult times. Finding our purpose is an iterative process that evolves over time and with your life experience. When I was in my 20s, I thought I had it all figured out. It's a good job, a loving husband, two children, not one, not three, but two. That was the definition of a successful life, according to my parents, my families, and the society. After getting married, I followed my husband's dream to start a visualization company. For three years, I was running his dream, working at his design studio. The company became quite successful and we had our lovely son, house, and everything. I almost ticked all the boxes for a successful life, but I wasn't truly happy. I was living in someone else's dream and fulfilling my parents' expectation. So I asked myself, besides being a good mom, good wife, good daughter, what do I really want to do? 
Since I was young, I have always been passionate about technology, love learning new things, and enjoying helping others. So I realized that teaching technology could be my calling. So I went back to university and pursued my PhD. During this period of time, during my research, I had opportunities to study various of traffic accidents and typologies. During this time, I witnessed many tragedies on the road. This work planted a new seed in me, a deeper purpose, saving life by contributing to traffic safety. After many years of doing research in the lab and in academia, besides publishing scientific papers and teaching, I realize I want to bridge the gap between research and industry to make a real impact in people's life. So moving from academia to industry was a completely new world to me. I need to learn from scratch, spending long days, long evenings learning new things. I could have stayed in my comfort zone as a university teacher, but I didn't. It was because of this deeper purpose that kept me going. In this journey, my purpose has evolved from teaching to saving lives to leading in a data and AI organization. Today, I am driven by creating a safe and innovative environment for my team so they could build better products that make a difference in people's life and road safety. Just like me, your purpose will evolve too, and that is okay. What matters is owning it and be brave enough to follow it. Even it feels hard and difficult. And remember, once when you connect yourself to a purpose which is bigger than you, you will realize the whole world, the whole universe is empowering you. My principle three, Stay open-minded and be true to yourself. I remember joining a team where I was the only woman managing a group of men who had more technology expertise than I did. Instead of pretending that I know it all, I focused on my own strength and my understanding of the products, my ability to listen and my passion for collaboration. So in the end, I created a safe space for my team where everyone felt comfortable sharing ideas which led more open discussions and result in better decisions. So when you stay true to yourself, you really inspire others to do the same. So together we will achieve more. Remember, the world of technology is evolving faster than ever. It is not about avoiding challenges, it's about embracing them, learning from it, and moving forward one step at a time. So I challenge you today, what will be your first step? <laughs>